All right, this is what this new display looks like that we're about to put in. Okay, this is how you open up this model of Kurzweil. You wanna flip it over. You'll have a screw on each corner, so that's four. You'll have this bracket screw here in the center and then these two screws. The first thing I'm going to do is take loose this drive ribbon cable here. You have to push down on these black clips and unhinge them, and then the black clips will come off. Then you'll be able to pull the ribbon cable off of the board. Since this thing has a broken backlight, I just unplugged this and stuffed it under there. But yours is probably plugged in. Unplug this. Unplug this. And the floppy power. So those are disconnected, and we're going to disconnect this chassis ground right here off of the transformer. I'm going to cheat and roll these boards forward and leave all of this stuff plugged in. Let's take this loose. I don't know what size this is. 9.30 seconds. This one's got a nut and a lock washer and then a flat washer. Ground is disconnected here. Fold it out of the way. One thing to watch out for here is there's this copper foil that's taped and folded over these jacks. Gently lift this stuff because all of these jacks and everything is gonna come right out with this metal circuit board assembly. Just move this foil out of the way so we're not tearing it. Next thing, we have to take out the Phillips screws that are holding both of these boards in. They're spaced out about every six inches. So you'll see one, two, three. These two are close. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then right through here, you can see where they're in there in a line. So just go through and take all of these Phillips out next. Look across these boards for places that do not have caps sticking up because you don't want to bend those over and stuff. There's a whole bunch sticking up over here. I guess these are resistors, but they're sticking up like a porcupine. So you want to stay away from them. So it looks like we got two support points for this whole board assembly. We are clear here, clear here. You'll have to push these boards this way a little bit to get the jacks to clear these holes. And then I think it'll just lift up and fold because we're still connected over here. Okay, I'm lifting up on the back first and then coming the other way with it. At this point, remember our backlight wiring. That'll snag here. Just push that out of the way. And we're loose on this side. So let's go ahead and roll these boards over. There you go, man. Something I do a lot when I'm handling stuff like this is I'm touching the ground on this transformer a lot because everybody's always like, man, you don't have the wrist thingy on. But I should be discharging any static that's in me by touching ground. Oh, and here we are. Here's our replacement display. So far, so good. It looks like it's the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and use this new cable. So that means I'll be unhooking this cable and leaving it with the display. I'm also going to leave this power cable with the display. It's soldered in there anyway, so... We don't need this high voltage wire anymore, dude. Yeah. I'll try to fold this out of the way so that stuff don't get on my fingers. I want to take this piece of tape loose just so I can get to that screw. Fold this up over here out of my way. Next, I'm going to pull these four display screws out. <laughs> All right, let's move this display out of the way. Let's make sure the back of this window here is clean. It's pretty clean. Yep. Let's peel the plastic off of our new display. 
Look at that. This way is up, so it's facing the right direction. Let's go ahead and drop this display in there. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the display screws. So there's nothing that I need adjusted from under here. Man, looks great. This is how the factory cable ran. It's gonna come out here and of course turn like this one. Maybe not necessarily have that big kink in it. All right, let's put these ribbon cables back in place and then stick that sticky tape back over them. This one was like this. This one went like this. All right, man, let's start to flip this thing back over here. It looks like this cable went here and then folded like this. And it went under this. You're gonna go like this. Let's unhook this. So of course it's got a metal clip on it that will push down and take off. And we should be able to pull that ribbon cable off and then move the old display out of the way. All right, dude. Old display. This cable is just longer. So I'm going to have a loop in it. Better too long than too short, man. Let's move our quality socks out of the way. Make sure we didn't break anything. All of the caps look good. <laughs> all right, let's put all of our circuit board screws back in. I usually just start screws and then go back later and torque them down. Distributing the pressure around instead of just tightening one down at a time. You know how it is when you're obsessive compulsive. <laughs> All right, let me tighten these screws down and I'll be back. All right, the boards are tightened down. There's nothing binding here. Everything's where it's supposed to be. New display plugs in right here. And then we need to plug back in floppy power, floppy ribbon cable, new display cable. Excellent. I guess this is extremely important. You don't want to forget to hook this ground back up. They say you will fry this thing if this isn't connected. I don't know. I've never tried it. All right, we had a flat washer. We had the wire. We had a lock washer and the nut. Oh. Ground is connected, man. We need to fold our foil back on here. All right, let's temporarily put this bottom plate back on and fire it up and see if the display works. Let's just put the two center screws in. So here's the moment of truth, guys. You ready? Wow, that's weird. It's like whited out in the camera. Dude, this is just the awesomest blue. Blue Kurzweil with a blue display. That's the closest I can get the blue to come in. Wow, bizarre. You see all the lines in it? The video doesn't do it justice, guys. Here, let me adjust some contrast on it. <laughs> I can go purple. Yeah, there you go. Just imagine this ripple in there. That's from the camera. Yeah. But yeah, man, this display is so awesome. I love it. All right, just for some bonus footage here, I'm gonna try to build a beat on this thing. I haven't mastered the sequencer yet, but let's go ahead and try. Yes. Kind of cheesy. <laughs> you get the idea. Let's go to mixer.
Well, thank you so much for checking out my Kurzweil videos. There are more on my channel if you want to check out more, but that is it for now, and I will see you guys later.